How's it going guys? Joe Greco here. It is 3.31 in the morning. I'm headed over to my buddy Zach's house. We're going to go head over to this tournament at Lake Kapakong in New Jersey. We're looking at an overcast day, which might be a good thing. Probably will be. And uh, stay tuned and I'll see you at the lake. Where? Here's one. That, that'll be right? Mm -hmm. Like on the outside. Flap and hog. Yep. Squeaker. Off the dock, baby. Oh my god, chill out, dude. Turn the live well on? That's weird. What is it, for drop shotting? Squeaker. Little guy. I don't think so. I'll measure him just in case, but I don't think so. Yep. You! Not a fucking boy. Get it done. Get it done. There we go, baby. Smart On the smart fucking smart. jig. I'm gonna try to drop shot one of these motherfuckers. There's one. It's a keeper. I think so, at least. It might keep. Yep. I got him right on that corner. No. I'm gonna cast back up and Yeah. There's one. Squeaker.
got our limit. We're gonna weigh in soon. Yeah, we did. How's it going, guys? So we finished up the tournament with 9.70 pounds. First place was 13 and a half pounds, and then second and third were around 10 or 11 pounds. Um, my friend, my buddy Zach got two three and a half pounders off film. Uh, they both came on jigs. My bigger fish came on jig. Uh, one came on a flipping bait and the other one came on a drop shot near the bridge which you guys will see um, We really didn't figure out the jig pattern until an hour and a half till the tournament was over So we I mean we caught the two bigger fish that caught the two three three and a half pounders within the last hour of the tournament And that really helped us out um, Other than that, I mean we went into the tournament expecting to be flipping docks with flapping hogs and drop shotting uh, throwing a spinnerbait because the wind was I mean it was perfect spinnerbait weather crankbait weather but they wouldn't touch a reaction bait and then we got to the one cove where I started throwing the jig picked off that one two and a half three pounder and then from there we started to use the jig more and developed a pattern with the jig that the fish were eating off the bottom but, I mean, if we did get on that pattern earlier, I'm sure we would have had more weight. Um, I mean, we did miss a few fish on the jig, too, that could have helped us out. Because we had three, two and a half to three pound, two and a half to three and a half pounders, and then two, like, one pounders. So, I mean... If we threw the jig all day, I'm sure we would have maybe placed. But, I mean, what can you do? That's how it is. It was our first time fishing Lake Kapakong, so we went in there blind, really. But, I mean, we did pretty well for the first time at the lake. We should have pre-fished it, but we didn't really have time because I was on vacation. But, uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like the video, and if you want to see more videos, subscribe.